Paul, what did we learn exactly from Mark Zuckerberg's comments that Facebook will review its platform and investigate all apps? What kind of action could that lead to ostensibly? Yeah, I think a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, they, you know, Mark seemed to cite uh, that the, the issues that they, 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 the plans they put in place once they found out about this in 2014 prevented any further uh, issues occurring. But I think some of the, the uh, Cambridge Analytica issues kind of occurred before some of the um, uh, uh, protocols that they put in a few years ago. What they're saying now essentially is that uh, they're continuing to look at the issue, but they will limit even further uh, the amount of information that third-party app uh, developers uh, can access from uh, Facebook users. And so they're going to limit that. They're also going to give users, uh, you know, I think some more tools to proactively limit uh, the information that a particular user will ever share with a third-party app user. So net-net, it seems like they're trying to tighten up some of the controls uh, that they have on user data, uh, give some more control to the users themselves, uh, and then put more restrictions on the app developers themselves to try to tighten it up a little bit. Uh, can they do it though? Because it's not like this is the first time they've had to you know, adjust something on the fly or change their privacy settings in response to a controversy. Has this gotten so sprawling that they can't do it? Or is this something where if they take it more seriously, they could perhaps find a more stable uh, equilibrium here? I think going forward, they can certainly um, change the controls that they have and the settings that they have uh, going forward, and they can give more power to users and, and actually restrict uh, the capabilities that third-party app developers uh, can do. So I think they can do that. They're also saying that they're going to go back and look retrospectively to see if any app developers uh, prior, you know, several years ago may have come in and uh, done something that's similar to Cambridge Analytica, uh, and that audit, I suspect, is going to be very difficult for them to do, given now that they're over two billion users globally. Uh, but that's one of the things uh, Mark Zuckerberg said that his team will do. We also have uh, Sheryl Sandberg, the COO, writing in a blog posting on Facebook saying, I deeply regret inaction over revelations. Let's just get you what Mark Zuckerberg actually said here. So Mark Zuckerberg, CEO, founder of Facebook, saying this was a breach of trust between Kogan, Cambridge Analytica, and Facebook. But it was also a breach of trust between Facebook and the people who share their data with us and expect us to protect it. Um, Paul Sweeney, do you think any of this is going to have any effect on people not using Facebook as much? I mean, mm. Joe and I mentioned that on our news feed, some people were saying they might drop Facebook, but Facebook has survived worse things. Yeah, I, I suspect over the long term it's not going to have a material impact on the two things that Facebook really cares about. Number one, their total users, and number two, the engagement that their users have, how long they spend uh, on the service. Those are the two things that Facebook monetizes for advertisers, yeah. and I suspect they're going to be okay.